Christmas, and welcome back to another episode of Nebraska Bassing. Today, as you can see by the box, I got a little something special for you. Now, this isn't just like a box full of baits I'm going to go through. I'll go through that later. I've got it in the box down here. So, let's get started. First, I've got a sticker. And you get a sticker when you for free when you spend a certain amount of money. So, there's your first hint. Second hint is a Tackle Warehouse reel cover. And I got this thing for like two bucks. It was a real good price. Steel. And third. I think you know what this is. Okay, well let's get started. We have a Daiwa reel. It is a new bait casting reel. This is the Daiwa Tatua CT100HSL. That was a mouthful. This here is, like I said, the Tatua CT. Yeah, I got this for a real good price on the Tackle Warehouse website, so I'll link them below. I'll link this below and everything else in this video. So first off, let's take a look at the reel. This reel comes in three or four different gear ratios, and this is a 73 to 1 and it comes with a red plate to show you that it's 73 to 1, red knob, and then the spool is, I think it's red on all of the models, but I'm not sure. This is a really nice reel. I really love the colors on it. What I was really hoping for was to get the, the gold plate, but it wasn't in the, the gear ratio that I wanted. Overall, this is a really nice black, almost like a gray gunmetal color, and the red pairs really well with it. It's really smooth. I love how easy this spins, making fishing a lot, a lot easier. Let's get into the actual like components of the reel. Overall, first look, first review about it. I haven't gone fishing with it yet. I'm hoping to do that here soon. I gotta put some line on it and I gotta get a new pull for it. To begin with, this is a 73 to 1 gear ratio. It is 7.4 ounces. The max drag is 13.2 pounds. With one turn, it brings in 77 centimeters of line, and it has eight bearings. It has seven balls and one roller. Now, what I chose this for is because it was a higher gear ratio than what my other reel is, which is back there. As the TWS brake system, it has the UT drag system, the Mag Force C, and the air rotation. So all in all, this is an amazing reel. I haven't gone fishing with, like I said, I gotta put line on it, I gotta get new pull for it, or I gotta get a rod for it, and I'm thinking about getting a 7 foot rod to make things easier, but and I can't decide if I want to put fluorocarbon or monofilament on it. I am going to put braid on my other reel, and I think I'm going to use that as a my flipping and pitching reel. And Anyway, there's the reel. Pretty amazing. I love the colors on it. I love how smooth it is. I love the TWS system and the mag force, the UT drag, and the air rotation. Can't wait to get out and use this. It's supposed to be warmer. It's Christmas. It's December 25th. It's almost 60 degrees outside, and it's been pouring all day. Now, that you can't get much crazier than that here in Nebraska. Because just the other day, we had snow, and it was like negative 7 degrees. So it went from negative 7 to almost 60 degrees in a matter of a week, which I think is insane in both my mind. But like I said, that's what you get with the rascal weather. Now, enough with this. i to put it down and I'll keep playing with it. Let's get to Christmas stuff I got. Take this, put this aside. Now, you guys saw the... The, uh, the LTB box up here and the real box and the real. And I'm actually going to add this up there. But the LTB box isn't up there. And I came down here the other day to do something. I can't remember what I was doing. I came down here and that my, my LTB box was gone, but I didn't notice. And then on Christmas Day, my brother had actually went out and got me a bunch of baits and actually used my LTB box to put it on, and I had no idea that he used it. So when I opened it up, I was like, you got me a December Lucky Tackle box. Like, this is awesome. What? This is sick. And then he's like, uh, no, just open up. 
Even though it wasn't an LTB box, I actually got some amazing baits from him. So I'm going to start out with my soft plastics that I got. So first one I got was the Super Salt Plus Finesse Worms. And they, I think these were uh, 6 inches, but I'm not sure. But anyway, they're watermelon seed. Good for like drop shots and just Texas rigging and all that stuff. Catch me a lot of fish on these. I can't wait to use these in the spring. Sick bait. Second on my list is I got some Senkos stick baits, but these are trick sticks. These are five inch craw fish orange swirls. And these are the Shields Tournament Fishing Series. And these uh, these plastics are really tough. Uh, so I could use them more than, I can probably catch four or five fish on them rather than have my other Senkos rip after one or two fish. And the third thing I got was, I got these Havoc Pit Boss Big Texan, yeah, Big Texan uh, craw looking things. I don't know, I don't think these are hollow body, I think they're all plastics. And this is the Skeet Reese design. But yeah. I can't, I haven't actually used any of these yet. I've got a few of them over here in one of my boxes with the cross. And I'm excited to use them. So can't wait to get out and use those. Next on my list of things I got from my brother was I got a Strike King KVD square bill. And this is a 1.5 shallow runner. It dives three feet. And this uh this particular color is called orange bream. At first when I saw it I was like, oh it's a long ear like bluegill looking thing. So I go so this particular color do really well in the waters that I fish. Next bait on my list I got was I got a jerk bait. I got a Berkeley dive three to six feet. Yeah, dive three to six feet jerk bait. It's got an amazing purple stripe down the top and all see that in the light. Then it's got yellow and silver on the side. It's got some orange up here and it's got some yellow down here. This would be really well, do really well. Maybe if the ice over on Holmes Lake clears up a little bit, I'll take it out there and I'll go test it out. And see if I can catch any fish. And the next baits that I have are from my parents. I got them in my stocking, which I thought was a good idea. I was like, oh, that's kind of a cool idea to put my baits in the stocking. But I got this Storm Thin Fish, or Thin Fin, like Shad, I think. But it's like, it's like this thin, and it's got a wide bill on it, and I had no idea what it's used for. It dives three to eight feet. Oh, oh my goodness, it's two and a half inches. It dives three to eight feet. And I'm excited to see what action is. If the wide bill makes it go like this, or maybe it's just so it deep, dives deeper. I don't know. So I'm excited to test this out and see if I can catch any fish on this. Next thing I got was these Marabou Jigs. I got two of them. They are the Hutch Tackle Marabou Jigs, and they look like a chartreuse in orange with what looks like black stripes, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it. But the, the jig heads are actually, they've got some gold on them, which I thought was kind of cool, something different, something new. And these are really good baits for the winter. You go out and catch a ton of fish on these. In the other video where me, Noah, Captain X, and Michael went out and fished in the snow, Noah hooked up with a four or five pounder on one of these and it actually broke him off. So not only did he lose a four or five pounder, he actually lost his marabou jig. But I mean, they're not super expensive. So you go pick another one up and toss it right back out there. Go pick that big one again. And the third bait I got is a mini flipping jig from Strike King. Now, why well, I think this is really cool, it's uh, a, look, like a peanut butter, like a sand and orange kind of color, which I think is kind of cool. And they use this in dirty water, clear water, and you got to get a smaller trailer for it, but I shouldn't be too hard to find. I've got a couple of cross I feel on it. And it's got... Uh, extra strong weed guard for flipping a heavy cover, weedless, snagless, head design. And the head design helps prevent jig from getting wedged in the rocks, which is kind of cool. Inverted line tying the upper part of the head helps keep the line away from the rocks so it doesn't get frayed. You look at that right there. I like that. I can't wait to go use this. Actually, I can't wait to go use any of these. 
my, my Christmas was filled with tons of fishing stuff. I got all these baits. I got uh, a couple sun shirts for when I'm fishing. I got a lamp for when we go camping. And, and I got the reel because my grandma gave me some money to go spend on whatever Christmas gift I wanted, though I knew exactly what I was going to get. So I went straight to the Tackle Warehouse website. It's like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to spend a few extra dollars to get it. And it'll be totally worth it. So I got that, and I'm absolutely loving, in love with it. I love my ARD as well. So here in the upcoming months of winter into the spring, we have a ton of cool stuff coming up. We've got boats that we're going to be putting together, and our sponsor, Pond Hopper Nation, they're going to set up their store, and they're going to get all their cool stuff. They've got hats, they've got shirts, they've got sweatshirts. It's going to be awesome. Go check them out. I'll put them in the description, and I'll put their Instagram in the description. Go follow Albert. He's an awesome guy. He's a really cool guy, and I can't wait to see what comes with January and the new year. And we have also been talking to another company, and we're excited to see what sponsorships they might be able to offer us. And we got some cool things that will come up in the 2017 year, like sponsorships. So, like I said earlier, it's 50 degrees, 60 degrees here, it's raining, and hopefully the ice is melting. Noah is actually down in Missouri for the weekend visiting family, and he's he gets to go fishing. He brought his reels down and his rods and he's gonna go fishing. He may, I think he's filming but I'm not exactly sure. So I can't wait to see what comes of that and hopefully you guys will be excited for that too. So thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you do. But don't forget, just please don't forget to fish on.